Hello, my name's Anne-Marie Minner and we're here today at the Australian Energy Storage Conference and Exhibition. I'm here with Craig Evans from ESS Inc. Hi Craig, thanks for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me. There's talk that ESS Inc's flow battery system is changing how the industry deploys energy storage. Could you tell me a little bit more about this product and why it's so unique? So I think the way the industry has evolved over time, it's gone from 15 minutes of ancillary service type technology towards longer duration, four hours and greater. And the main reason for that has been the lower cost renewables that are being introduced. And that's going to cause problems with the grid that's going to require longer duration batteries. What we provide is a long duration battery that can last for 20 years with no capacity fade. And we can do that. That's environmentally friendly. And in using food grade earth abundant elements like iron, salt, water for the electrolyte, do you see this as a long term competitive advantage for upscale production? We do. So I think, you know, when we started the company uh, five to seven years ago, we did so with a mindset that if you're going to install a battery with clean renewables, you want to install a battery that's going to be just as clean. Um, and there's many different advantages to that. One, when you're setting these long-term batteries there, you don't want to have an environmental footprint. Um, second, you've got to worry about transportation costs and all the disposal costs downstream. And I think with a battery that's very clean, you don't have those additional costs. And how does this iron flow battery system compare to others on the market, for instance, lithium iron? Uh, so, you know, I certainly think different batteries have a different need in the marketplace. Lithium iron is very well suited for ancillary services. Um, but what's unique with our chemistry is that we can maintain our capacity over the full lifetime of the project, which typically for PPAs are going to be 20 to 25 years. And over that lifetime, you don't want a battery that's going to fade. Um, you want to have that same capacity that you had on day one, and that's going to maintain your revenue stream, and it's going to maintain a very low uh, levelized cost of storage. Okay. And in your view, what's next for battery technology? Uh, so I think the durations are only going to get longer. Um, as I mentioned before, you know, we started out with 15 minutes. We're now in the four to six hour type range. Um, and people over, even over at the U.S. Department of Energy are talking 100 hours or even seasonal energy storage. And so I think the durations are only going to get longer. Um, as the cost of renewables come down, people get more and more comfortable. Great. Thanks, Craig. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you.